what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income. From stock market, what are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, Oscar De La Hoya back on his bull job again, man. Let's talk about it. He pulled up an old interview from uh, Brady Rahim Channel Seconds Out. But, uh, Eddie Hearn blasted Canelo for being a drug cheat. All right, um, let's get to it. Check out the boxing news playlist. Share the video. And uh, let's get to it. I'm going to try to remember to put it on the screen. But um, my boy Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment, take his channel. He's sending it to me. It says, uh, it says in Spanish, but he translated it. But the look at your fucking promoter accusing you, and I'm, I'm always in your corner defending, okay? And uh, it says, Eddie Hearn, Canelo Alvarez will always be known as a cheater. It's no lie. It's no cap. It's no cap, but um, he ain't lying. You know, but then again, he sat in on wax. That make you look bad. You know, but um, that make you look bad, man. And for him, for him, man, I just say to me, it's just what it's just that's why it ain't smart when you in that business, you know, who you gonna work with. It ain't smart, Eddie Hearn just talk too much. No cap, Eddie Hearn just simply talk too much. You know, when you talk so much, some shit gonna come bite you in your ass. Something's just going to come bite you in your butt. And now, you know, you want to answer that. Well, Eddie, I didn't mean it like that. Um, do you want to have crumpets and tea? No, you want to put your pump up? I'm going to Al Heyman. I'm going to Al Heyman. I'm going to Al Heyman. No, 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 don't go, don't go. I was just joking, man. But he right, he will ever for always be known as a cheater. I'm here with Eddie Hearn. We're going to keep this short because you promised me a beer. You know, Amir is mentioned in the bullet to this fight. That he's not sure if Canelo might have been uh, cheating even when they fought. We'll never know that, but you haven't been a promoter for as long as you've had, dealt with, you know, fighters that have had issues. What did you take on the judgment of the next state athletic commission in Nevada, giving him six months, no fine, ready to go in September? Anthony and yourself, actually, after uh, the Parker fight, said, okay, well, if it's not Wilder, probably is mandatory for Beckham. It's not your choice. That's who's uh, the mandatory, so it makes sense to fight him. But he's had his drug... Ch okay, because he talking about some other shit. But, um... 
It wasn't too bad. But what he was saying was facts. He always be known as a drug teacher. If he did it or he didn't do it, you know, that's like that's like you know when some of them dudes go through that me too situation. If you did it, if you did do it, you always gonna be labeled that you did do it, even if you exonerated. That's always gonna be on your uh, that's always gonna be on your resume. You see what I'm saying? So if you did do it or didn't do it, you know, you always gonna be labeled that. If he was clean as hell, he didn't do it. it didn't matter. People always on the public always gonna say he's dirty. You know, and that's just what it is. Nobody believe in that, uh, that me shit. I'm sorry. People say, well, the Olympic team, well, they must have been doing some other stuff. It must be a lot of computer all in that meat. It must be a t it must have been a ton of it. it. Must have been a ton of computer all. But um, you know, that's for them to figure out and find out. You know, he gonna get a pass because he's Mexican. We all know that man, and um, we know how the game go. You know how the game go, so I'm not too surprised with it, man. Uh, we can just move on from it, but uh, but for Canelo, man, for Eddie Hearn, he didn't say nothing bad. I see that La Jolla just trying to make something. He's just trying to cause mass confusion. He's just jealous. He's just still angry that Eddie Hearn took his mom. And then Eddie Hearn about to kick him off his own, you know? People forget they contracted with the zone at the end of this year. And it still hasn't been renewed. So, Eddie Hearn don't have no contract with the zone. Uh, I mean, he got the he got the full, he gonna have the full raise the zone until they, unless they ask somebody else. And Oscar De La Hoya gonna have to go to Triller. He must have some partnership with uh with Peter Nielsen. Or isn't it is it, yeah, Peter Nielsen. Nielsen. So, you know, for the most part, you know, it's in trouble. For the most part, they in trouble, trouble. So let's see. What if they go? Gotta go back to Facebook. Watch. You know, I don't think nobody gonna be attracted over there. But then again, they got good to Ramirez. Gilbert Ramirez can open some doors for him, which I'm not sure what door what doors he can open. <laughs> but um, they gonna try to push for that Canelo fight. I'll tell you that right now. You know, I'm mad. It's still in Water Fight Week, bro. Thanks, Tyson Fury. But, um, but yeah, this is just him trying to cause confusion. If, any, if you just read the headline, it sounds bad. The way he put it, man, he left the door open for a relationship with Canelo. He left the door open for that relationship. He didn't say nothing bad. But this is y'all boy, Oscar De La Hoya, trying to, confret, trying to create mass confusion. You know, trying to create, uh... Some type of schism between them. It ain't even schism. Straight up beef. What's beef? When I see you, you're going to be in ICU. What's beef? He trying to create some type of beef between them. But you know what? It's over with. He can't He can't do nothing about that now. Canelo seem like he's staying with him. He's not going to Oscar. He's not going to, excuse me, back to Oscar. Back to him. He's not going back to, uh, he's not going to Al Heyman. So, I mean... You know, Oscar, I chucked that as a loss. That was the company. That was they money maker. That was it. Now that money maker, money shaker is gone. It's gone. Now, what can he do? What can he say? You know? It's nothing. It's over with, but it just, you know, it was love and happiness. You know, now, now it's, he irate, he angry, because that money gone. You know, Canelo went over there with the English guy. But they've been beefing for a while. They've been beefing since, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, you know, left, uh, didn't show up to the Floyd fight and support him. He had a relapse. You know, but um, for the most part, it is what it is. You didn't handle your business. You didn't keep your star fighter happy. You had one job to do. And most of the fighters ain't over there happy. So, uh, Golden Boy going under. No Richard Schaefer, no Floyd Mayweather, no Al Heyman. It's going under. 
But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, video quest, all the social media links description. Twitter is the fastest way, than Facebook, and Instagram. All my social media links description. Uh, Twitter is the fastest way, than Facebook, Instagram. If you want to advertise on the channel, video quest, shop it up. Links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App CJ Good three one three. Send description Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link there as well too. Best way to donate thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you haven't, but I appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. Good for the square CV. Peace. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels, you got the rookie level, you got loyalty badges, you got custom emoji badges, and you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video that want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's $3 That's a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so. As soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there, $10 a month. Then we got the Boxing Pound for Pound Superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you. got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars world too. And priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. No instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.